Do not fear scrapes and scratches, as they are only evidence that the one who bears them has survived the beating of life. So let's create a shader that generates procedural scratches on any object. Fire up Blender and add a plane to the scene. Then rotate the plane to face the camera and scale it along the X and Z axes. This plane will be the canvas for our procedural texture. So go to the Materials tab, create a new material for the plane and give it a proper name. We can now head over to the shading viewport where I will show you how to set up a single procedural shader that can generate a variety of scrapes and scratches. I would usually delete the default principled BSDF shader and replace it with a more simple shader node, but not this time, as we need a few of these parameters to generate the procedural scratches. So let's set the base color for the material. Now press Shift A to bring up the Add menu, then using the search field find a Texture Coordinate node and add it to the shader. Repeat the same process, this time to add a Wave Texture node, a Noise Texture node, and a Bump node. This sequence of nodes will create the base strokes for the procedural scratches. Use the scale value of the predictably boring wave texture to set the frequency of the scratches and rely on the unpredictability of our old friend, the noise texture, to randomize them. Finally, the strength value of the bump node, as it sits in isolation, enables you to set the intensity of the scratches. Now, to add some controls to this procedural texture, enabling us to set the direction and strength of the scratches, add a mapping node and a Map Range node. The Mapping node is the jack of all trades. Use the rotation about the Y axis to change the direction of the scratches. As for the not so loved Map Range node, well, we will soon use its parameters to set the width and intensity of the scratches. But before that, let's add some grunge to our procedural texture, because at the moment, what we have looks more like a poor paint job than the scrapes and scratches you would expect to see on a weathered and worn out material. To do this, add a Musgrave texture node, another map range node, and a math node. Remember this, when it comes to adding grunge to a material, nothing does it better than the whiskey drinking, Nietzsche loving, chain smoker metalhead Musgrave texture node. Just be careful with its parameters as they are extremely sensitive, or some might say, temperamental. The two map range nodes we have carefully placed after the noise and Musgrave textures keep those random texture generators in check. They allow us to control the intensity of each of those texture nodes right before they are added together in the subsequent math node. Make sure to turn off the clamp option on the map range nodes to unlock their true potential and get a wider range on their outputs. Now it's time to bring some color to our procedural scratches. So let's add the ever-present color ramp node. Set the main outer color by dragging it from the principal shader. Then, Add a new color tab and select a color around the edges of each scratch. The final color tab, the one all the way to the left, determines the color of the base material underneath the scratches. Now, to make the first color ramp node jealous, add a second one. This time to set the metallic value of the upper and lower layers of the material. Finally, just to prove how common and unexceptionally expendable they are, add another color ramp node and do nothing with it. Or just use it to set the roughness value for different regions of our material. Before I continue denigrating our shader nodes anymore, let me point out the heroes of this procedural texture, and specifically their parameters. 
These are the parameters of our scratched material. Using these, you can generate a variety of scrapes and scratches on the surface of any object. Here are some examples, along with our parametric values. Feel free to test out any combination you can think of. The extent of damage you can exert is limitless. If you want to learn more about procedural textures, shaders, and materials, consider watching my other videos. As for this one, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.